Ignition is a misconfigured website that will demonstrate to us some basic networking and DNS concepts. Enumeration As you can see the IP of the target machine. Starting off with an nmap scan, we select the hyphen SC and hyphen SV switches to trigger default script scanning and version detection. As a result, port 80 open, and the running engine X1.14.2. So far, this seems straightforward. However, from the output right below that, we notice that HTTP title returns that HTTP ignition.htb did not follow the redirect. Copy this URL, try to attempt to access the web page through a browser window. As a result, we are presented with the following error. After a quick Google search of the error, we learn that this is an error that notifies about failure to find a corresponding domain's IP and domain name system. In other words, it informs that the attempt to translate the website name to IP address did not succeed. I think this problem can be fixed by modifying the local DNS file named hosts that is located in the etc directory. If you are also a Windows user, then follow similar steps to configure the host's file. Go to your file manager then click on C drive. Then click on Windows. From here search for System32. Search for Driver. Now click on ETC where the host's file is located. Now open this file using Notepad. From here copy the host's file to the desktop to modify it. Because you can modify this at this place. Now open this file using Notepad. Now add the IP address with its associated host name in the host's table which would allow your web client to visit the website which was previously reporting an error. Once you save the file, replace this file with the etc directory. Once this configuration is complete, we can proceed to reload the target's web page and verify if it loads successfully. Since the requested host name now has an association in your host's file, the website can load without issue. From here, we can start working towards gaining a foothold. Foothold After exploring the landing page for a short period of time, we can deduce that nothing helpful can be leveraged here. The only option of exploring the website further is using GoBuster. From the output of our GoBuster script, we find our target. The admin page returns a 200 response code, which signals its availability. We can navigate to it by appending it to the end of the URL. A login screen is presented to us, with a logo for Magento boasting in the middle of the page. A username and password are being requested. Let's try to attempt some default credentials for the Magento service to get login access. Let's try to login with some default credentials like admin, admin123. Admin, root123. Root 123. Admin, password1. Admin, administrator1. Admin, change em1. Admin, Password 123 Admin QWERTY 123 After manually attempting, we land on a successful login. The correct combination is Admin QWERTY 123. Now, we are presented with the Magento Administrative Panel, where the flag can be found under the Advanced Reporting section of the dashboard. Now copy the flag and paste it to hack the box. Before that, you have to solve these questions. You can find these from my blog.
If you have any doubts or queries on my video, then write me a comment in my comment section.